to my channel if you are new here please don't forget to subscribe if you are returning i appreciate your support today as you can see we are going to attempt to do a full video of a dermaplane facial some of the clips kind of got um, erased so bear with me you guys I will try to do more videos like this because I have gotten requests for them. So definitely comment, engage in this video if you want more videos like this. Definitely need you to like and comment and share this video. So we are going to go ahead and get started. Like I said, this is a dermaplane facial. So I'll walk you through what I use in this facial and I will also put everything that I use in the description box below. So definitely check that out if you're wondering my products. Right now we are starting off with some cleansing. And don't mind the camera everywhere because I'm getting other content as well. This was a full content day so I was getting like three videos in one you guys. So I'm starting out with the cleansing gel from Circadia. You guys know I've spoke about Circadia before. They are one of my favorites. It just works, so I love using them. Also, skin script as well. But this cleanser is my first step in my double cleanse. And this one is the cleansing gel with salicylic acid, which is great for the skin type of my client who I am doing right now. Um, they have a lot of congestion normally. It's great for mild to moderate acne. Oily skin types. Um, it really helps to kind of clean out the pores. If you're someone who gets a lot of blackheads, um, which she does, it's a great deep cleanse. use is very firm but still light um, and gentle enough um, you want to really use good pressure to work the muscles in the skin and to really kind of get things cleansed but not too much pressure where you're affecting the skin's barrier in any way or causing any type of irritation so it's definitely a balance So I love using these disposable sponges. I just find them the most effective. Um, I've used a couple different things when trying to, I guess, cleanse or wipe the skin. One um, has been four by fours and the other has been the towel. Um, and I just find that this way has been a lot better for me and a lot cleaner um, and I guess more thorough. The four by fours, get a little soapy and you use more of them in my opinion so I just like the sponges better and then for my second cleanse I'm going in with skin scripts charcoal cleanse this is great for her skin type again the charcoal is going to be great for clean cleansing the skin and you know any type of buildup any type of oily skin or if you're someone who just has combination skin but you're finding that your oil is just causing a lot of clogging. Um, the charcoal clay cleanser works really well. So I love this um, technique on all of my clients and they enjoy it as well, kind of where you're releasing the tension in your jaw. A lot of people don't realize we hold so much tension in our jaw area behind our ears, just different pressure points on our face and I really work with those um, it gets the blood circulating and you gotta think about it you're doing so many different facial expressions all day smiling laughing even you know frowning that you hold a lot of tension in your jaw area and like I said certain parts of your face so I try to work those points and try to release a lot of just 
tension, stress within my clan. this is my holy grail this enzyme has a ton of rewards and i can tell you there is a reason why it works so great on a lot of my clients that have discoloration hyperpigmentation age spots melasma um, it's really good for brightening and a really good prep for something like a dermaplane facial so this particular client has gotten her skin to the point where it has calmed down. Um, it's not, as you can see, it's not inflamed. It's not red. It's not irritated. And that's where you want to get someone with mild to moderate acne first. You want them to kind of get their skin calm to where you can really start to treat it like this. And do something like, you know, uh, a zestier <laughs> enzyme like lemon and then also the dermaplane um so that's why she's getting this today her skin has come a long way from what it started out um and hopefully you guys get to see a little bit more of her journey um and i can do more videos like this circular motion with my enzyme and rub it in um i don't know I, I i believe it's in the protocol but if not i know i got it from a protocol and it works so good to really get into the skin and penetrate and really prep that skin loosen up those pores where everything kind of comes oozing out afterwards and you want to use steam um, which is in the actual skin script protocol the steam i think is about 10 minutes and then you can go in with your form of extractions i am using the skin scrubber on my client today as you can see i set it to the cleansing setting it has a few different settings and just let me tell you guys oh use a four by four to put all of the gunk on <laughs> but let me tell you she hates hates this is my cousin by the way 
but she hates hate extractions like with a passion she has no pain tolerance for them at all and you guys see my previous videos before where this is kind of like a piece of cake for most clients I mean, extractions are always going to be pretty uncomfortable um, but they are very much bearable but my cousin is just a whiny baby <laughs> to what we call her so she can't take it at all and she gets really clogged blackheads in her nose so it's like i have to do put pressure to really get them out which you'll see a little bit of the blackheads on the 4x4 at the end if you pay attention really closely but she this is like torture to her so please do not mind her sure the temperature is okay with them. I use all Dermaplane Pro products you can find in the description below. So I'm going to go in with the AHA Skin um, Prep Solution to prep the skin. And then I use the Dermaplane Pro Oil. I like to Dermaplane with oil. I use the Dermaplane Blade and also the Dermaplane Blade Remover or little disposable for the um, blades. And then we are going to start with the skin prep solution and then the oil and then you're going to go in with the fresh blade for the dermaplane when you are dermaplane you always are dermaplaning sorry you always want to make sure you are using a 45 degree angle when um, dermaplaning the skin and hold the skin taut
Now, after the dermaplane, I'm gonna go in with the toner to bring the skin back to its natural pH. This one is by SkinScript, and it's the Mint Refining Toner. This is perfect for her skin type. This is the um, clay mask. It is called the Volcano Clay Mask. And y'all, I love this stuff. Ever since I was um, introduced to it a few years ago, actually, I have been using it and I love it so much on my clients and myself as well. So I do offer light massage with my facials and it just depends on that client's request or um, just, I guess, area that I want to target at the moment. But today I'm doing a decollete and shoulder and neck massage with the mask, um, whereas sometimes I may do hand and arm massage. reached the end of our facial you guys we want to go ahead and put all your finishing products on the skin which is serums and moisturizers and sunscreen right now i'm spraying some more toner onto the skin and then we're going to go in with one of my fave serums from aveda and it is called the recovery serum this serum works so good to like it says recover the skin 
And I just feel that it has worked um, to really kind of balance the skin back out after you do a ton of stuff, you know, to the skin. A facial is a, a bit more intense than just washing your face at home. You know, it's many steps, many treatments. So you definitely want to have something to kind of bring that skin back down to balance. And this recovery serum works great. With the serum, you want to press into the skin. You don't want to rub it. You don't want to kind of like go in circular motions with a serum. You want to press it and really push that serum into the skin so it can penetrate. So my second serum is the vitamin C green tea serum by Skimscript. I love this serum. You guys know vitamin C is great for brightening, but not also just brightening, but it helps to, you know, uh, protect your skin from free radicals and impurities. And it's very good for your skin barrier. Then after we go ahead and press this serum in, we're going to add an light aloe moisturizer. The reason why we do the light aloe moisturizer for her skin type is because it's, it's not going to be any more oily or pore clogging or anything for her particularly because she gets oily and she has mild to moderate acne. So with someone like that, you want to use a lighter, more healing moisturizer like aloe. And I love the light aloe moisturizer for my oilier or like I said, more pore clogging clients. Um, it definitely doesn't leave them greasy or anything, um, which <laughs> will cause more issues <laughs> than what we're trying to do. And we're trying to keep her skin as clean and clear as possible. favorites for the spa circadia's light day sunscreen it doesn't have a white cast it doesn't leave you feeling greasy or oily but still it's very moisturizing i mean it's just the perfect sunscreen for your clients i know i've talked about this before in some of my videos and i have just found that this works tremendously with all my clients it is literally a holy grail sunscreen here in the spa unfortunately you guys this is the end my footage to show the skin was cut off i end with a little aroma therapy but thank you guys so much for watching. Please comment if you want more videos like this. And I will see you guys next time. These will get better. Don't worry. Subscribe.